Well, I think we can win. It's an MMP election. Uh, people will start focusing during the election campaign. And it'll be about the future of New Zealand. It'll be about policy, not simply a beauty contest. No, I'll be leading Labour through into the election and looking forward to forming a government after November the 26th. Well, this poll is worse than other polls that show the gap much closer. But it has been a couple of uh, hard weeks in politics. I think we get the focus back on the issues that Labour stands for. We can win. Uh, if we're distracted, uh, then, then people will turn up with the results that you're suggesting. Well, I saw the item on TV3 last night. I thought it was well and truly overhyped uh, to the extent that uh, Trevor Mallard was asked if there were any leaks in the caucus, and he said, yeah, down there, pointing at the, <laughs> pointing at the toilet. And uh, Paddy Gow said, oh, it's Shane Jones then, and ran away and wrote a story. Look, there's a lot of hype about that. Uh, that's not being discussed in the, in the caucus of the Labour Party. We're focused on winning this election and on the policy releases that are coming up. And I think as we focus public, the public's attention on those areas like asset sales, betrayal of promises over KiwiSaver, we'll see people uh, voting on those issues at the election, and that's our intention. Just in there have been no factions in the Labour Party, either based on ideology or on personalities. We have got a united, a disciplined and a determined team. There is no question about Phil Goff's leadership. He has the full support of the caucus, uh, always has done. There is no question about, uh, about changing leaders or doing anything of that sort. Oh, look, uh, you know, I'm, I've got work to do myself. I, I accept that. Um, yeah, that's part of the challenge of the job. I, I've got no doubt that I have the full support of my caucus. Labour is committed to being strong, united and determined in opposition. Obviously I share in that responsibility the things I need to do differently and better, uh, but there are a lot of other reasons as well. Oh, I, I just think it's about connecting with, uh, with people out in the electorate. Do you think it's time to evaluate leadership perhaps? No. I have the full and utter support of my front bench colleagues. Uh, I've heard of no leadership concerns. There is no question uh, of support for my leadership. There never has been, despite speculation uh, from political opponents. And he's got to capture New Zealand's imagination and for New Zealand to see him as an alternative. It sounds to me like you don't think Phil Goff is the right alternative, Judith. I've said what I intend to say. The leader of the Labour Party is right here and he has my full support. Uh, we know the hand of uh, political opponents has been behind this. They have done their best to destabilise us. Uh, in fact, they have only made us stronger. Thoroughly support Phil Goff as leader. He has my 100% support, and I'll be working with him to win the next elections. You have to reflect on whether or not you can do the job. I've reached the conclusion you haven't, that you can't, and I think most of our caucus have, and I think you know that. I wholeheartedly support Mr Goff as leader. Share is not the problem, it's the old guard that's behind him. Phil, Annette and Trevor, say no more. Don't see too many brown faces over with Shearer. What does that tell you about the future? And I feel sorry for Shearer. He is being used. When he fails, Grant Robertson will be there in his shining armour, ready to take over. If David Shearer gets the role, I'll be um, doing it. safe from Grant Robertson. Absolutely, absolutely. For three years. I am totally committed to David Shearer as the leader of the Labour Party if that's what the caucus decision is. Well, that's bullshit. <laughs> Frankly, that's just nonsense.